All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my first review for the bonus episodes of The Walking Dead Season 10. This is now for episode 17 of Season 10. Home, sweet home. Oh man, could it be a review for Walking Dead? Oh, dudes. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> so, this one will be a spoiler review uh, after just getting done seeing uh, the bonus episode premiere, which is episode uh, 17 for The Walking Dead Season 10. It just hit on AMC Premiere today. If you have Premiere, you can watch it. Uh, even if, if you don't have it, you can get it on Amazon Prime. Uh, they even have it. So if you have an Amazon account, you can sign up for a free trial of, uh, of AMC uh, Premiere, that whole thing, AMC+. Plus and uh, get a chance to see it a week early. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Go to Amazon if you have an account. We pretty much all have accounts now with Amazon, right? Watch it or, or AMC, whatever, and check it out, man. So, oh, I'm rusty, dudes. It feels like it has been forever since we have done a review for a new episode of The Walking Dead. Uh, home Sweet Home, this episode is called, and basically we have um, the return of Maggie into the Walking Dead television series just in time uh, since they did announce that uh, we're wrapping up Walking Dead. We have 30 episodes left, which now I guess would be uh, 29 episodes left as we count them down, uh, marching um, step by step to the end of The Walking Dead. So sad. But this episode uh, is definitely a lot of fun. Uh, it's got some pretty cool uh, sort of Predator vibes, I want to say. I think we've all probably seen the movie Predator, right? Uh, they've, made, they've made a bunch of them now, Predator movies. Uh, but the original one, you know, when they're in the jungle with Arnold and, uh, you know, you've got the Predator and they're being hunted, that whole thing. That's sort of what this episode feels like. Kind of like Fear of the Hunters from the, um, the comic book series that they never really used in the Walking Dead television series, so it's good to finally see them kind of kind of do that. I thought that it translated really well, and it, it turned out great. It was really exciting. You kind of have spoilers. You have a, uh, a sniper from a new group, which is uh, they think is called the Reapers, who have basically uh, been hunting Maggie and her uh, smaller group after um, they had lost the location, which was with Georgie. So it sounds like after watching this episode, the group that was with Georgie and with Maggie is basically finished now. There's pretty much nothing uh, left to them. They were taken out over time uh, due to different uh, trials and tribulations. And then particularly this uh, this uh, uh, Reaper um, uh, group that kind of hunted them down and sort of uh, caused them to kind of flee. And uh, that's what we see in this episode. We kind of get to see why as we have part of their group that seemingly gets captured, uh, particularly with uh, Herschel by um, an unnamed uh, Reaper, I suppose, who's sort of like a, uh, a sniper. If you ever played Call of Duty, there's this, uh, you can play as like a sniper and they, they have like a covering and everything where it have like leaves all over them, that kind of thing. And uh, this guy is pretty well armed. He does have a, a pretty good rifle, uh, which is kind of rare right now in the zombie apocalypse because not a lot of people even have firearms at all. Uh, we get the sense that our group basically doesn't. You have the, uh, you know, Daryl's got the crossbow, Maggie's got a bow and arrow, Elijah's got the commas, and uh, Kelly has a slingshot. So definitely you can see why somebody who has a sniper rifle knows how to use it, knows how to use cover, knows how to get into a good position and use uh, maybe height leverage, a perch, and uh, pretty cool. You can see like one eye kind of come through at one spot there. Uh, it, it's pretty scary. I like particularly where a couple of uh, the girls um, get kind of shot by him and or one of them gets shot and then the other one kind of uh, foolishly goes in to try to help and gets shot too. So, <laughs> so it kind of reminded me, there's one movie called uh, Tower. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's a, uh, it was kind of like, a, I think a low budget movie, but it's sort of the situation you get into in, in wartime situations where you have a sniper who's really good and they're hidden. You don't know where they are and they just start kind of taking people out. Uh, extremely dangerous, um, you know, hard to kind of get to close the distance on them sometimes. And so we see Maggie and Daryl do that, but it's uh, it's pretty exciting. And then ultimately the guy ends up sort of getting surrounded because there's just one of them. And he does end up kind of giving up his uh, his post. And basically a consortium of uh, uh, Daryl, Maggie, and the others are Cole, um, Elijah, 
they were able to surround him, stop him, and then he uh, pulls a grenade to, uh, to to kill himself rather than end up being captured. And eventually they find uh, Herschel. And then as the episode comes to an end, they return to Alexandria. But definitely my favorite part has to be the introduction. I was waiting for this for a little while. I did not watch the table read. I was able to kind of hold off and uh, not check that out. Uh, so to get to see uh, Maggie and Negan uh, come face to face at the beginning of this episode was awesome. Well, shit. <laughs> so uh, I like it. Uh, will that mean now that Negan has to leave? Will he be exiled? Uh, maybe gets his freedom back but can't stay in Alexandria has to leave because Maggie has returned now. And well, obviously she takes priority, but at the same time, he did sort of earn his uh, his freedom uh, with his service in uh, successfully uh, being a double agent and basically taking out the leader of the Whispers and in, in killing Alpha by his own, his own two hands, which was definitely a, a difficult uh, task uh, to do. Um, so we get a nice little recap from Lydia. Um, to start the episode off, we got the awesome intro scene with Maggie and Egan face off. I uh, love it. We've got Daryl Carroll. We get to see that the hilltop is destroyed. So they, uh, Maggie and the others, they go and Carol, they go to see the hilltop. They basically find that the hilltop is smashed to bits. There's a, a ton of zombies around, just bodies, corpses everywhere. And um, it's it looks like it's pretty much beyond repair or it's in the type of situation where it looks like they're not even going to try. That said, uh, Carol does tell uh, Maggie that uh, that she was the one who sort of let Negan out. She was the one who did it. Maggie seems angry about this, but uh, maybe understands in some kind of a way. And uh, I do like the line they use for the trailer, which is that Herschel had asked at one point um, how his daddy died, and uh, I told him that a bad man killed him. Uh, <laughs> so um, he's right. He's right over there. No. <laughs> so uh, what? Um, so, uh, awkward, awkward situation. So we'll have to see what happens with this as things kind of play on and go through. Um, so it is, it is a fun episode. They do have a part where they kill a bunch of, uh, uh walkers in order to stay in a, uh, maybe like a storage locker area. Maggie kind of gets cut on the arm. The others kind of help out and, um, you have Kelly and uh, she's kind of in there as well too. Some talk of Connie and Maggie maybe getting to meet Connie. And I did like the line where kind of uh, 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 Kelly sort of uh, says to Maggie that she thinks she's an older older sibling. I thought that was kind of cool. So sort of a, a mention back to Beth. Uh, if you guys uh, if you guys remember, we're going back a ways here, right? Halfway through the series, season five. We're now pretty much on season 11. So it's halfway through pretty much. Um, long way home and uh, cool action sequences, Predator style, Fear the Hunter style. Enjoyed it. And uh, that guy was pretty badass. I assume there's more of him. And that maybe they felt like he was so, uh, you know, such so tough that he maybe they sent maybe the Reapers sent him in alone because they felt like, well, he works better alone. Let him go in alone and just let him take everybody out, um, which normally you think would be a ridiculous idea. But because of their firepower and him knowing how to use it, um, you know, maybe him being by himself and uh, and doing it that way, you know, made sense for them to kind of do. Uh, he he does seem like kind of a loner type of guy. And I didn't catch really what he said there uh, before he pulls the grenade, uh, something about it, but um, it was pretty cool anyway. So uh, happy to see Walking Dead back. I was wondering how long it would take for me to get back into the mode, and it took about two minutes. All it took was uh, Negan and Maggie coming face to face. I'm going to give this return episode, Home Sweet Home, a 9 out of 10. I enjoyed it. Very cool Predator vibes. Something different for Walking Dead, uh, you know, in the uh, in the forest, being hunted. Even the theme song reminded me of, uh, of Predator. So... Very cool stuff. Looking forward to seeing these additional, you know, five episodes now. I guess it'll be, what, a couple weeks now because we got to see this one early. So um, looking forward to it. Always love to see Walking Dead, man. Going to miss it when it's gone. But we do have quite a few episodes left before that to that time. I'm sure at some point here that'll get out of my mind and I'll be able to just enjoy these final episodes. Great to have Maggie back in the, uh, the series. Uh, cool scene with her and Judith as well, too, talking about Michonne and the others. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please thumb it up below. You can share, you can favorite, and subscribe at the bottom left if you're new. And I'll see you guys back again soon for another video. Maybe a live stream soon, but we'll have to see. So always this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.